Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in today's episode we are going to be once again installing the Alpha India Group's AI Traffic Injector. We're also going to be talking about a few other options that can be included later on as well as a PDF tutorial guide that I have created to help with the installation process. So stick around. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Okay, guys, so real quick, we've got a couple of things, so please do not skip yet. Um, first off, let's talk about the tutorial PDF. I want to put a quick disclaimer in here that the downloaded software directories do have their own manuals. Um, so the PDF tutorial guide, this will be available on my Patreon site to Patreon subscribers tier two and above, just like the rest of my guides. And uh, I just wanted to make it very clear that there is a manual inside each of the um, uh, AIG installers that you can also use instead. However, the difference between this one and that is it literally walks through everything you need to do step by step with full screenshots and uh, recommendations, you know, and things to expect as you walk through the installation process. So it's again, it's just another tool that's available as well as we will be going through the exact same process here in this video today. So don't feel like it's a requirement. It's just something that's available to those if they choose to go that route. Okay. All right, so now getting into AIG. Today's video is gonna be just about using the Alpha India Group uh, AI Traffic Manager and AI Traffic Controller, or AI Manager and Traffic Controller. However, we are also gonna be talking about in a next video how to use some payware software in, in uh, conjunction with the AIG installer to even further enhance the experience. But today, everything is going to be free. There is absolutely no money necessary in order to install all this software. Now, the other disclaimer that I wanna talk about real quick is steam uh, there's been quite a few questions about how to get things working properly with steam guys i need you to understand that i did my best to look up online i really couldn't find a whole lot of answers i do not have the steam version i have the store version um, i always whether it be dcs world microsoft flight simulator any games that's possible i actually avoid going through programs like steam for this reason i always like standalone installers it makes things much much easier so uh, i do apologize that i wasn't able to give any further information in regard to steam but hopefully this this will still help clear up some information. So let's begin with the installation process. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to software here. Well, first you're gonna click the link in the description below, take you to this site here. Then we're gonna software, AI manager. Make sure you find public beta version 1.1 included MSFS support, click on that. Then we're going to go back to software, go to traffic controller and simply hit the download button. Okay, now the next thing that we're gonna to need to do is actually register to a website. And this will save you a step later on during the configuration process. So where we're going to go is to this website here. Again, a link to this will be down in the description below. And by the way, all of the links, all of the necessary uh, files and everything like that are included in the PDF guide as well. Literally, we are walking through the guide step by step. So you're gonna to wanna to come here, you wanna hit register, fill out the information, hit the register. Once the registration is complete, then continue on with the video if you are following along. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to our downloads folder. And what we're gonna want is you're gonna to want to know two places that you're gonna put both these folders. So we're gonna to need to extract them. Then we're gonna be copying them to a directory where they are going to live forever. So what I've done is I have an applications folder. You see Microsoft Flight Simulator application. These are all the third party applications that I use on occasion for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, so I'm gonna be dropping them in here. So I'm gonna first go to downloads and I recommend using something like 7-zip. It makes it easier, but however you wanna extract them. Do the extract to slash. This means extracting to the folder name. So we're gonna click on that. Okay, now we have our extracted folders. I'm gonna cut these out. I'm gonna go back to my applications directory and I'm gonna hit paste. And there they are. 
And now we're going to begin with the AIG AI Manager 1.1. Open that up. Now the first step is you must know that both of these applications, both the AI Manager and the Traffic Controller must be launched as an administrator. Now you can either do right click, run as administrator every single time that you have to open them. That's totally fine. Or what I like to do to save some time is go down to properties, go to compatibility, and select run this program as an administrator. Then you don't have to worry about doing that, but it's totally up to you. So either run as administrator or make the change that I just told you and double click. AI Manager will then launch. Let's minimize the background for a second. You will get a window. AI Manager must now be updated automatically or will now be hit OK. You'll see that command prompt pop up. Just give it a few seconds. It'll automatically go away. So go ahead and just let it do its thing. Or you can press any key to continue. It's up to you. OK, there's the update. It's now complete. AI Manager will restart. And this part can take a while. OK. Now, it's going to tell you that new models have been added. Make sure to um, verify the setup after startup and let AIM reinstall, missing uh, paints during the process. So we can deal with that in just a second. So hit OK. Then it asks if you want to run it in slow mode. The answer to this question is going to be based on your computer. If you have a relatively old computer and you will know who you are, if your computer struggles to do a lot of the simple tasks, if it's just old and outdated, you might want to hit yes. If your computer's within the last few years has a good amount of RAM, and there you go right there, um, it even tells you about it, um, then you can typically hit no. And then this part, like I said, takes a while, so I'll come back to you guys as soon as this part's complete. Okay, so just to give you guys an expectation here, I have a pretty fast computer, relatively updated, uh, tons of RAM and CPU, and that took about two minutes for it to launch, so it can take a minute. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to flight plans, okay, and from here, we want to find the traffic controller executable, so we're going to select press the select button. Then we need to go to that directory that we just created. I don't know why, what the heck happened there? There we go. So we're going to go to our applications, find the traffic controller, and it wants the EXE. So you're going to highlight that. There it is down there and hit open. Okay. The next thing that you're going to want is you're going to want to make sure that you hit this checkbox here. Use AIGF flight plans files when possible. Make sure that that is selected as well. Okay. And finally, we are now going to move over to the cookies tab. We're going to select login. And this is where when we registered on that site at the very beginning of the video, this is where this is going to come into play. So we're going to hit login and you just go ahead. It's going to tell you about script errors. You just go ahead and select yes. We're going to hit OK. The page will display. There's those script errors it was just talking about. Just hit yes all the way through. Login as necessary. Press enter. You're going to get these script errors again. Yes, 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 yes. Once that's complete and you get to this page here, you can now close the browser and you can see that our status has now changed to logged in. All right. So moving right along, this is very, very simple when it all comes down to it. Next, we're going to go to the AIGAIM OCI page. And from here, we want to come over here and select setup. And we're going to go next. We're going to verify that both of these directories are complete and uh, accurate. So I'm going to show you guys what these are. So if we bring this one back up, the first one is going to be looking for the community folder. So if we go into gaming, Microsoft Flight Simulator, packages, and this is where it makes a difference for you. Your Microsoft Flight Simulator could be located anywhere. That's that's totally up to you. The big one is going to be the packages folder. So Flight Simulator, there's my packages, community, and it's not here yet, but this is the directory it's going to create. So you want to make sure that this path is complete. So this is what it's looking for right here, B Gaming Microsoft Flight Simulator Packages Community. And then you see B Gaming Microsoft Flight Simulator Packages Community. And then it's going to put in the AIG AI Traffic OCI folder. And then finally here, it wants to know where the traffic controller is again. Now again, this particular scenario, it's just looking for the traffic controller folder. 
So again, back to Microsoft Flight Simulator applications, there's the AIG traffic controller. So here's the path that we're verifying. Gaming, Microsoft Flight Simulator applications, gaming, Microsoft Flight Simulator applications, and then it is going to, well, actually the AIG traffic controller is there, so we can verify the whole thing. So at this point, simply hit next. And if either of those were wrong, you would edit them. If for any reason the AV Sim library logged in is not displaying, you would repeat the login process. But if logged in is already displaying as it should be at this point, simply hit setup. AIM or AI manager will now be closed. Please restart. So we're going to close it. Go back to AI manager. And again, if you need to hit run as administrator, or if you made the change that I showed you about, simply double click and launch it. And from here, we will be sitting again for about another two minutes. So I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. All right, so now that we've completed all the configuration, now it's time to do the fun part, which is to start finding our liveries. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you're in the flight, pa flight plans tab, then go to online, and here's where you'll be able to see the list of available options. Now, first I'm gonna show you how to install these one at a time, and then we'll take a look how to do a bulk installation. As far as searching for one at a time, you have the ability to simply come down and type in um, the airlines that you are particularly looking for. So example, I fly American Airlines a lot in my A320. Let's go ahead and grab American Airlines. Now all I'm gonna do is find it here. There it is, it's the one I want, and we're gonna click install. Now it does take a second, but you'll have another window pop up shortly. Here's what it looks like. When you see this, it gives you all of the delivery information, tells you where it's coming from, and even tells you that the uh, what the season it was variant it is so we're going to go to install using oci click on that you'll get yet another window that looks like this and from here you just simply click install this window will close once the process is completed so once the window closes you'll know that your livery has installed i'll come back to you guys once this completes as even a single one depending on the size of the company the number of liveries etc internet speed all those good factors uh, will come into play here and it can sometimes take a bit of time so i'll catch you guys in just a minute so i did want to show you guys a little tip that you can use when selecting your airlines um, rather than just picking random ones, what I recommend doing is find some of the larger airports, you know, John F. Kennedy in New York, Los Angeles International in California, um, an airport that you know is going to have a ton of different traffic, and then select your, or go to Google or whatever, and I just type KLAX Airlines, and this is the first one that comes up, airline list uh, for Los Angeles International Airport. Click on that. And these are all of the aircraft or airline companies that currently fly into LA. Now, I'm gonna warn you, if you were to download all of these, that file size is gonna be huge very, very quick. So keep that in mind. Um, but another thing like I've done is I also searched for uh, Tucson International, my hometown, which is a much, much, much smaller airport. And we only have like uh, five or six airlines that come in here. Um, so, you know, you can do that and it makes it a lot easier to decide which airlines you want to, uh, grab and how you want to populate the airport. Okay. And obviously the more airlines, the companies that you download and install, the more populated your airport will be. Okay. Okay, so that process is finally completed. Now remember guys, I'm on a really strong internet connection and I have a pretty robust machine. Okay, and so that takes a minute, but you can come back to the installed tab now and you can see that it has been installed. Now that took, like I said, between three and five minutes ish, you know. Um, I recorded the previous segment while this was still running and then had some time uh, afterwards and in between. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a bulk installation. So if we go again, make sure you're on the flight plans tab, go back to online. For bulk installations, what you can do is, so let's see here, we just did American. Let's find ones that I know I'm gonna need here real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't wanna go too crazy. I just wanna select like two so you guys can see it. Uh, let's see here, uh, Alaska, that's one. I'm gonna want Alaska, there we go. So I'm gonna hit control, I'm holding control, left click. I can let go of control now. I'm gonna go find Delta. That's another one that I know I'll need. And that'll work for my Tucson airport as well. And Delta Airlines. I'm gonna hold control again, check. And now I'm gonna hit OCI bulk. Now I do recommend for beginners, skip manual download. Make sure you check that. Uh, and the reason being is if a 
livery cannot be found directly or company root information cannot be found directly by the AI manager. You basically have to go to a website, you have to download it, you have to import it manually. It, it just, that's a whole nother topic. I'm trying to keep things simple for you guys. So check that and then select OCI bulk. At which point, the installation process and download process will begin automatically. First, it's going to start with Alaska. When Alaska is done, it will then switch over to Delta and so on and so forth. Now, I want to give you guys a heads up that in testing this yesterday, I did 10 at one time and it took almost an hour. So I, I want to stress to you guys enough to be patient, okay? Especially if you're on a slower internet connection, okay? Um, but it's well worth the wait once you get it all set up and get all the airlines in that you're looking for. It really is going to make make a huge difference. So once this completes, guys, we'll come back and uh, we'll take a look at the next step, which will be taking a look at the AI traffic controller and launching the simulator. All right, so our downloads are done and now we are ready to start working on AIG, AIG traffic controller. So we're gonna switch gears here. Go back to the application. We're gonna go to the traffic controller. We're gonna find the traffic controller EXE. We're going to right click and we're going to do create shortcut. And this all has a purpose here in a minute. Now stay with me on this one. We're gonna to go to create shortcut, right click on the properties, bring up the properties window. And at the end of the target location, you're just gonna hit your right arrow and it should bring you to the cursor to the very end here. Now this is very important. You need to hit space hyphen MSFS 2020 and then hit apply and hit okay. And from here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Right click, go to properties again, go to compatibility and make sure that run this program as an administrator is checked. Either that or you must right click and hit run as administrator every time. Uh, where is it? There it is right there. Okay, so in my case, I'm just going to double click it now. And it's launching on another window. I don't know why it did that. But one of the things you're going to get is this. Once again, do you want to run it in slow mode? Just like before, same requirements apply. I'm going to hit no. And the traffic controller is loading. Unfortunately, I can't move the main window. It's on my primary display, and I don't know why. All right. But once it's done, you should be presented with a screen that looks like this. From here, we're going to go to settings. And we're going to make sure that use AIG FP or AIG flight plans is checked. We want to make sure that's there. Now, you also have auto injection on startup. This is an option. I actually prefer to control uh, the injection. So I'm going to uncheck that. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to hit inject traffic. You can use this slider here to determine how much traffic is actually included, whether 100% of the flight plans that are loaded for a specific airport or just a percentage of such. So for right now, I'm going to leave it as um, 100%. Okay, and finally, the last thing that we need to do is we need to locate the ACI directory or AGI directory inside of our community folder. So you need to hit this little select button right here. I'm going to map it down to my drive. So it's gonna be, let's see here, what am I looking for? This PC, there we go. Games, gaming, find my Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, there it is. Find my packages folder, community, and there it is right there. Sorry, AIG Air Traffic OCI Beta, that's what you're looking for. You just need the folder, the top folder, and hit OK. And then there's the directory populating as it should. And from here, we are good to hit save settings. Now, after you've hit save settings, I do recommend restarting the application. It's just one of those things that I do on any kind of application install. Once you get it all configured, close it, refresh it, make sure everything saves as it should, and then come back in and get ready to use it. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to go ahead and close the window at this point. We're going to launch Microsoft Flight Simulator and then get ready to inject our traffic and see the change. Okay, so we're now loaded into the sim. I have relaunched the AIG traffic controller uh, using the shortcut we, we created. You always wanna be launching it with that shortcut that we, that we made. 
And so now we have some final settings to check in Microsoft Flight Simulator and we will be ready to roll. So first thing we're gonna do is go to traffic here. We wanna make sure this is an AI offline. Your AI aircraft traffic density, you can set this to around 50% is the recommended. Um, aircraft ground vehicle density needs to be set to zero, okay? And now we're gonna hit resume. And then from the AI traffic controller, okay, so there it goes. So now, all we need to do, there we go, that's a little bit better, is we're gonna to go to settings we talked about before, and we're going to expand the window here. And we can set our activity level as we talked about before and hit inject traffic. You can see that we are connected down here in the bottom left. And then I'll minimize this. And we'll just watch. And it does take a second. But you can see planes popping up over there. There's another one here. I'm not sure what's next to it. That's kind of odd. Now remember, we're not going to see a fully populated airport because we didn't grab all the liveries. You know, we didn't grab all the companies that fly at LA. We grabbed American, Delta, and Alaska. And so there's... Oh, that's cool right there. Look at that one. To give you guys an idea of the variance, check out this one. That's badass. I didn't even know that one was there. And the jetways will automatically come around. So that's pretty cool. We got Delta over there. Another Alaska. Not quite sure what's going on with the jetway there. But anyways, you guys sort of get the gist. There's a ton of Delta here right now. Now, one of the questions that has popped up is traffic not moving. Now, my understanding is, oh, hey, that's an A380. Um, my understanding on how that works is it's based on real world flight times and flight plans. So um, you may not see a ton of movement, and that's sort of the idea. But at the very least, you got some incoming traffic. We got two planes coming out over there. Looks like heading to the taxiway. We got a GA aircraft taking off. I don't know how much of that is multiplayer, though. But uh, anyway, that's how you bring your airport to life. And like I said, the more companies that you install with AIG Manager, um, the I think one of those is AI traffic or one of them is multiplayer. But uh, anyway, yeah, takeoffs are different on them too. The takeoff angles. But anyway, you guys get the gist. The uh, the more liveries and more companies that you installed, sorry, I got sidetracked there, um, the more populated the airports will be based on where you're at. Like LAX, you know, the more um, companies that we have that actually fly here, we would see, you could see all, down near all the gates populated depending on how busy of a day it is and how busy the traffic route is. So it's really one of those things that uh, you can tinker with and play with. It's not perfect, just like anything else. It's got its bugs, it's got its issues, but it's certainly for a completely free solution offers a ton of uh, immersion and uh, much more realism than what comes with the default AI traffic. So I hope you guys have found this tutorial useful. Remember, there is a full tutorial PDF guide on my Patreon site amongst with all of my other guides that are there for any Patreon subscribers if you guys want something to have step by step. I'm also gonna be expanding on this guide in the next couple days, adding a payware option to it that enhances it even more and absolutely brings it into a real world traffic scenario with only about a 60 second delay to real life and uh, so stay tuned for that video as well and again that will also be associated with this guide here but do remember the next step will be a payware option and we'll talk about that in the next video as always guys stay safe and healthy and i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one